What you want on these three right here? What what you want to give me? I don't know. You just tell me. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Um what well, I mean what you tell me. You know. Just how would you want me to do you? There you go. I trust you, Jack. <laughs> I mean, usually at yard sales I, I buy games for like a dollar yeah. each. What go I mean, ahead. Is that is that cool yeah, with you? That's fine with me. Alright, I'll do that. Yes. Uh, now Diana, I saw a lone PlayStation 2 game in there. It makes me think there might be more. Mm, that could be. So, let me know if you find anything. I will. I will. Things here and there in his game room upstairs. And I don't know. Do you have change? You, yeah. He's got a game room? Yes. I. Hey, I, I didn't see a price on that. Can you tell me what you're selling that for? It's half off now. <laughs> for veterans discount? Yes, I do. Okay, folks, got a package in today, and this is coming all the way from the UK. A friend of mine uh, that follows me on YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, she's from the UK, and back when Nintendo announced uh, the pre-order bonus for Australia and the UK uh, for Luigi's Mansion 3, her and I were talking about it. And I told her, well, America's not getting any pre-order bonuses. Well, uh, about two weeks or a week and a half after after uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 launched, she saw on Facebook Marketplace in the UK a girl selling her pre-order bonus for very cheap. So she sent me the link, and I contacted the seller, asking the seller if she would ship to... Uh, the United States she said sure as long as you pay for shipping so what we have is the pre-order bonus the UK Australia exclusive so let's see if we can get into this easier here there we go I'm hoping this didn't get bent in shipping um, she told me she was going to wrap it pretty well so hopefully it didn't 
All right, yeah, it looks like it's going to be in good condition. Let's see if we can get into this. Really, scissors? But yeah, um, this chick was selling this for very cheap. This girl, I should say. If I can get into this thing, good lord. I'm glad she wrapped it as well as she did, though. There we go. All right. So that is the glow in the dark still book for Luigi's Mansion Three, and it's in mint condition. Very, very nice. No bends. No creases. It's textured on the back. The ghosts here are textured very awesome and hopefully within the next video I can show how it glows in the dark um, but Luigi's Mansion here should glow the three should glow here and the ghost on the back should glow and then we've got the Luigi's Mansion keychain with the ghost dog so very very awesome so happy to have that I was so disappointed that America did not get this bonus at all uh, but uh, it originated in Australia first and then the UK picked up the pre-order bonus as well so it's always always nice to be able to network with people outside of your area you can usually end up getting some really cool things for your collection but there you have it folks on to the next been sitting right there at that light trying to turn. <laughs> That's all right. In the last 10 minutes. Well, I've been here about 10 minutes, so it's right. okay. But before that, there in Jamestown, damn trains. And look what I happened to find. Oh, you found some more games. Cool. PlayStation 1. Yeah. Let me see what all you in got the here. Is the, is the, is the one that you asked for. The okay. Are in there. I don't know if they work or not. You can have them. Okay, let's bottom. see. Splinter Cell, football. Mama found Mama found games in the apartment. Twenty-four. Carbon GT3. Wow, it went down at least. Nasties. Don't club. So calm. Um, can go. That's where she should go. What is that? Weakest link. I don't know if there's anything's in there or not. Okay, well, I'll, I'm going to grab these three at least. And uh, mm -hmm. let's see what we got here. We got, okay, we got a controller. Two controllers there. And I had two with the. Uh, okay. And I had two with the GameCube. And the system. But you know what? The GameCube cord and this one belong to get, fit together. Yeah. They do take the same cord. And that's all I had. Alright, well, here's 20. Okay. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I appreciate I it. Them, you know, Let's see. Kingo. If you got a kid, they'll appreciate them. Yeah. Me, speed. I don't know anything about these. Hey, hey, but. Yeah, I don't either. Hey. My oldest son, or my oldest middle son. Oh, wait, you got everything in here, don't you? Huh? Yeah, I brought the GameCube too. And the Xbox. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't even... One train went through by my house. Well, how much you want for this? 20, I'll take for it. You'll take another time. Yeah. There the you go. There's, there's 20 for the GameCube. 
dirty box of PlayStation. Get that tested and see if that works. And then that had yeah, all that. Now that did work. Controller. It's got two controllers. And I had them plugged up. Another controller. Yeah. All right. That's all. Hey. So I got y'all set up. It's all refurbed. Can you play it when you get home? No. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate the the barter for the box. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're yeah, welcome. I brought a sheet. Okay, folks, and as the winter time approaches and as we get into a colder season, the pickups are far and few between. So I take what I can get, especially this right here. So towards the end of the video, right before the sold section, you saw me walk out to the vehicle with a box in hand and thank the lady for the barter. She asked me if I would refurb her Nintendo because it wasn't working. I said, sure. I gave her my refurb price and she agreed on it. I gave her my address and she shows up. She's a lady that I've known for a long time too. And then she shows up to my house. Unbeknownst to me, this thing was complete in box. And I was like, well, how about we just scratch the refurb price and I will refurb your Nintendo for this box. So the box is complete with all the manuals, styrofoam, etc. It's in really good condition except for this one little corner right here which has a little tear. Other than that, you know, there's a little wear here on this, on this uh, corner. But the back of it looks fantastic. Um, the bottoms of it look great. And I did not have this box in my collection um as a matter of fact this is the first box for the nintendo for a super nintendo for n64 this is the first box i have found i've never come across box sets so i was more than happy to work out that barter with her i picked up these two consoles the n64 and the gamecube for 20 bucks each N64 had a, uh, a good working controller. He also threw in this Indigo GameCube controller in horrible condition. Uh, I did test it. However, it does work. Um, it's just, look at that. I mean, what, what am I supposed to do with that? So I listed it on uh, eBay for parts for like stupid cheap. 
um, stating that it still does work. It just needs some attention. It needs a new a new stick here. Uh, maybe somebody can just you know take it apart and use it for parts. Um, it did uh, another GameCube controller came with uh, the consoles and it was in very good condition. Very good um, joystick and C stick. And both consoles uh, cleaned and working. Picked up Dead Rising, uh, Chop Till You Drop. Did not have that Wii game. I got it with a, a few other Wii games. Sold the others, made my money back, made a little bit of profit. Um, the guy that had these consoles had some, some free games. Most of them were um, sports games and just games I, w I wasn't really interested in. I thought that I had a case for Need for Speed high, stack, uh, high Stakes. Turns out that I do not. And then Kingo, I had never heard of it, but it's nothing special. It's like a 4 to $5 game. Um, but I just grabbed it because he was giving it away. And then Weakest Link was the only one uh, that was complete. So I grabbed it mainly for the case, if anything. Um, I can use, you know, jewel cases for a better condition game. And that one was in pretty good condition. And then I got the Luigi's Mansion 3 still book with the keychain which was a um, a pre-order bonus for the UK and Australia and well you saw the portion of the video in that but there it is folks I'm keeping the action set box I'm keeping Luigi's Mansion 3 um, I'm keeping Dead Rising everything else is for sale so not a whole lot added to the collection this week but I did have enough footage to get you a video out, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. I just hit 3,000 subscribers today on Saturday, November 16th, and that is fantastic. I'm just I'm blown away. My goal was to hit 3,000 before my two-year anniversary coming up in January. But I hit it today, and folks, I cannot thank each and every one of you enough for your support. And folks, I hope you have had an awesome week. I know I have. I'm Tatted Collector, and have a good one.